Hey Kingdom family, my name is Candy Nicole and welcome back to Arise in Glory. So today's message stems from Luke 7 verses 11 is where I'm starting. It is titled, Jesus Raises a Widow's Son. It says, soon afterward, he went into a town called Nain and his disciples and a great crowd went with him. As he drew near to the gate of the town, behold, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and a considerable crowd from the town was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came and touched the bibber, and the bearer stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, Arise. And the dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen among us, and God has visited, and God has visited his people. And the report about him spread through the whole Judea and the surrounding country. So let me tell you how this word came about. Last night, God gave me so many dreams and the dreams, every single one had a theme to it and it all went around new beginnings It all, it all circled around new beginnings and blessings. Okay. Um, last night, one of the songs that I was hearing was blessings falling out of nowhere. Ain't that just like God? I believe this was a song that, um, I don't know if I gave you guys this song before, but this is a song that I was hearing last night. But God was talking about new beginnings last night. Brand spanking new things. And one thing in my particular situation, of course, God shows me these dreams for myself at first. But of course, nothing is just for me. Many of these things that he's doing, these new beginnings, are in areas of your life that you thought were dead. These things were dead, not thought they were dead. They were, they are dead in your life. There are some things in your life that are completely, areas of your life that are completely dead. And God is bringing new life into them. Everything last night was about new life, new beginnings, new, 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 new. God is bringing new life into things. He woke me up. And I looked, when I looked up on my computer screen, my monitor, it had 339 on it. And then it completely went out. <laughs> this is odd because this is my work computer. It's pretty much like on standstill. It, it just stands until I go and touch it. Okay, you guys? But when I woke up, it's as if someone woke me up out my sleep. And when I looked up, my computer monitor for work was in front of me and it was lit up. And the time on it was 3.39. And God put it in my spirit to keep that in mind. When I woke up this morning and I went look up 3.39, it led me to this verse. And it says, basically, it means to sit up. God is telling you it's time to sit up. He's arising new things in your life. The name of this channel is Arise in Glory for a reason, you guys. God gave me the name for this channel through Isaiah 60. Arise, for your time has come, okay? Many of you, it is time. It is time to arise, for your time has come. God is bringing new life into dead situations in your life. He's breathing new life. And it even says in here that cut my attention. He's so good. In Luke 14, it says, young man, I say to you, arise. Oh, baby, it's time for you to arise. Arise, okay? So another thing God did last night is God speaks to me through dreams. And through those dreams, God has trained me up to know what certain things mean. And he will use people. It'll be the oddest person in the dream how he'll use them. But he uses them for their name. Okay, so last night, my mother has a friend named Tina, and he was using her in the dream, and it was kind of odd. And he allowed me to see her go through all these new situations and him bring all this newness into her life. And he told me before I left the dream that I was Tina. 
I woke up from the dream and of course I am trained at this point with certain things in my dreams to know what God is telling me to do. And he told me again, look up the name Tina. The biblical meaning of the name Tina means follower of Christ. So he let me know before I left the dream. I didn't know what her name meant. He let me know I was Tina. And when I looked it up, it says follower of Christ. It is not just a message for me. It is for the followers of Christ. God is bringing new things into your life in the areas that you thought were completely, not even thought, they are dead. They're dead, dead, okay? But God is bringing new life into it. Brand spanking new, like something you've never experienced before. God is breathing new life into things. All God has been speaking to me about is how he's about to bless so many of his children. And even when you come into that first blessing, you think, oh, that is it. He did it. He has more for you. He was telling me keys and threes the other day. Keys and threes. He is coming with multiple blessings in this season. If this is your season and God has told you that this is your season, be prepared for the unexpected. Be prepared for the overflow because he's about to overflow you with his blessings. I know y'all are having a wonderful day. And if you are not, it is time to stop and claim your day back no matter what you are going through it's a choice it's a choice is it going to rule you or are you going to rule it today is better than yesterday and tomorrow will be better than today because only better days are ahead of you i will talk to you guys soon bye